All right, now on Sunday, a group of activists and Iceland officials bid farewell to what was once a glacier in Iceland. The climate change claimed its very first tangible victim, an iceberg in Iceland. The glacier, called Okjokul, which translates as OK Glacier. Now, it was rising temperatures that resulted in the melting of the ice due to global warming that has claimed the life of this glacier. In 2014, glaciologists had stripped Okjokul of its glacier status. They had declared it as dead. Now, it's merely a block of ice on top of a volcano. Now, almost about 100 people hiked for two hours to install a bronze plaque in honor of the glacier, which is now just called OK. It is the first such monument in the world. The plaque has the following prescription written on it. It is titled, A Letter to the Future. In the next 200 years, all our glaciers are expected to follow the same path. And this monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and we also know what needs to be done. But only you, our future generations know, will know whether we do it. Sometimes they can be so grand and they may not come true. And also Iceland's Prime Minister has urged, the inter has urged for international cooperation on an unprecedented scale. This is the first Icelandic glacier that's formally declared an ex-glacier. Uh, but if the predictions of the scientists, uh, if we see them happening, we will see other glaciers disappear in the next decades and centuries, which is obviously a very big thing for our landscape, nature, ecosystem, but also for our energy system, because we produce renewable energies from the glacial rivers. I think it's so important uh, for uh, every leader of the world to be conscious of that we are seeing the faces of the climate crisis differently around the world but it's the same crisis and we need international cooperation on an unprecedented scale we really need to rethink the way we are working to meet this challenge also activists want a global climate emergency to be declared they hope that this loss will at least now be an eye-opener for the world. They also say that it is up to humans to collectively respond to this rapid loss of glaciers.